This is former President Yaya Jammeh's cousin, Anthony Jammeh. He's out on bail, awaiting trial accused of causing public disturbance. In June, he led protests that took place in the former president's hometown in stronghold Kanelai. This is mobile phone footage of Senegalese forces confronting villagers. Hundreds of them are now in Gambia as part of a West African stabilizing force that arrived in the country after Jame left power in January. They're here to ensure a peaceful transition of power. But this standoff turned violent, leaving several injured and a villager dead after troops fired on protesters. We don't want soldiers here. We need peace. Because if soldiers are here, we don't know why they are here. A soldier with a gun and a civilian who does not have a gun. A soldier living just at your doorsteps. You will be threatened. You will be frightened. Senegalese forces say this area of Gambia is being used as a base for a rebel group from Senegal. With Jame's support, the rebels launched offensive from here for decades. A ceasefire was agreed in 2014, but peace talks are still dragging on. Now that Jame is gone, Senegal wants to end the conflict once and for all and capture rebels hiding in Gambia. The Gambian military are in charge of Yaya Jame's farmhouse. For the rest of the area, it's the West African forces led by the Senegalese military that are ensuring the security. The longer they stay here, the more frustrated people become. They accuse the Senegalese forces of harassing them. The villagers show us an unexploded mortar launched from Senegal when Jami refused to hand over power back in January. They kill us, they kill our people, they wounded them. Shooting three soldiers? Yeah. How can we... We reached out to the Senegalese forces, but they refused to comment. Many Gambians don't trust the Gambian army for its loyalty to Jame and its crackdown on the population. Senegal has the support of a large part of the population. Jame's supporters, including his cousin, are accused of fomenting instability. They see Senegal as an occupying force holding a fragile and uneasy peace, at least in this part of the country. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Kanalai.